Well, here we are, Monday, Thursday, that day of Holy Week that is the turning point for everything that will come in the next few days. And so today I invite you to pray with me. These past few weeks we have praying, been praying with the mystics. And so today on Monday, Thursday, we will follow the example of Bernard Clairvaux. Tracy Marx tells us that Bernard of Clairvaux lived in France in the 12th century. As with many mystics, Bernard turned to the Song of Songs in the Bible, a place we seldom go for prayer and devotion because its rich and earthy language might be off-putting at first glance. Glance again and see how the description of human physical love as a metaphor of God's love and desire for us, as well as our love and desire for God, can guide your prayer, meditation, and reflection. Bernard of Clairvaux's focus on love might strike you as confusing and even hypocritical when you learn of his involvement in the Second Crusade. How could someone who reminds us that our very nature is to be love, how can he be swept up in such a bloody process? to acknowledge and confess the role of good and faithful, even learned and spiritually minded Christians in events that were criticized even in their own day and subsequently repudiated by the church is necessary. We need not take all aspects of Bernard's life as exemplary though. Rather, we can use what has proved to be most enduring from Bernard to this day a wealth of words to inspire and shape the way we love God and think about loving God. We can even be reminded to love our enemies as Jesus desires, to pray for those who persecute us and to repent of our sins, seeking God's help to enlarge our heart. As you step into these ways of praying with Bernard, may you claim the space and time you need for prayer, making your spiritual needs a priority and setting aside your to-do list for some sacred, even vital moments. May you remember the desire of your heart that led you to this journey, and may you find yourself responding to God's unique invitation to you to arise and come away. Today's prayer is an interspersed prayer, interspersed with words adapted from Song of Songs, chapter two, verses eight through 13, and there are some suggestions for how you might pray. You might choose to pause this video and write down your thoughts. You might draw or paint a response, or you can simply offer your response to God out loud or in silence, or maybe another idea that you have. Pray as you are led in this time. Let's pray. Listen, the voice of your beloved speaks. Listen, can you hear the voice of your beloved? Listen, listen closely. Imagine that God calls your name. What is your response? Listen, the voice of your beloved speaks. Listen, can you hear the voice of your beloved? Listen, listen closely. God calls your name a second time. How do you respond this time? Listen, the voice of your beloved speaks. Listen, can you hear the voice of your beloved? Listen, listen closely. A third time, God calls your name with tenderness and compassion. What is your response?
look, your beloved draws near. With joy and celebration, as if leaping over mountains, as if bounding over hills. Are there words of praise that you want to offer to God at this time? Words of gratitude? What do you want to say to God who draws near to you with joy? Look, your beloved stands behind the window gazing in, seeing you inside, seeing your life, understanding you, accepting you. Look, your beloved stands behind the window gazing in, seeing you inside. Visualize a scene from your current life where you are inside at home or work in the midst of daily activities. Look at yourself as if through a window, as an observer. What do you see? What do you notice about yourself? Imagine now that God is looking with you through the window with compassion and kindness. What do you see now knowing that God is looking with you? What does God see that you aren't able to? Listen. Your beloved speaks and says to you, Arise, my love, and come away. For the harsh season is over and the struggle is no more. Listen, your beloved speaks to you. What might God be inviting you to at this time in your life? What is your response to God's invitation? Listen, your beloved is speaking to you. Listen, listen closely. Allow your prayer to continue as you desire and close in a way that is right for you. <laughs>